February 15th is a very special day. Can you guess why? Because it's the launch day. I absolutely adore this game. So I've been looking forward to this day for a while. And thanks to the developer, I've been able to get some access to the full version, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. So let's just launch straight into a new run. We're going to play with the Enchanted, because I haven't been able to play with them before. And uh, they are big tanky boys. So let's go with play. I'm going to accept a gift of random minion or gold. Thank you very much. So the stupid elves have captured me again. The most powerful necromancer in the kingdom and locked me into a tower. And I have managed to smuggle in my Necronomicon. So we're going to try and break out. And that's where this game really starts to become fun. Because we're going to do a reverse tower defense. If you haven't seen this game before, we are the minions trying to escape. And we have a choice here and this is actually uh, a pretty crazy set of creatures to pick from uh i think i should probably go maybe with the bully i mean he's got the most health he's the fastest but he does take a little bit longer to spawn in than everyone else but i can gain plus two permanently on exit and on the first few levels that's going to be so easy with a bully so we can re-roll the store doesn't cost anything don't want to re-roll at the moment. We've got four coins up here at the top with which we can buy something if we want to. I'm thinking we may buy a shroomy. That leaves us with two or later. I mean, Swampy's quite good, but mm, not so much. Flavor. So what else can we do? Uh, once minions have been combined, yes, this is what I was going to need to look for. We can combine two shroomies, I believe, because we have in our inventory a Relic that uh, allows us to combine enchanting with just two cards. So let's grab a shroomy. Let's combine the shroomy into a cap. Cap is got more life and some other stats, but he can actually be combined again with another cap to give us something even more special. Let's put Bully at the front. He's going to be absorbing all of the punches. We should probably plan our path. So this is us here. We are the snake. We are the uh, Level 10, I guess this is. And we want to see where we want to go. Now, we want to go into here to get some spells. Probably here for the extra chest. But we can go relics. And let's do this, this, this. And where should we go for the end? Can I grab some more enchanted? Or, oh, there's some gems. I suppose we could do that. Let's go with the gems. And I think we're good. So, here's the map. We're on floor 10, like I said. Here's us in the bottom corner. This is our exit. It's got a little highlight around it because we've already planned out where we're going to go. This is your alternative exit. This is a uh, the store enchanted. This is the in-store relics. We want to grab this chest and we also want to try and grab this key. So let's go this way. This way. Oh, we might as well grab the health. And then back again. We're going to avoid this knight who isn't doing damage to us. Speed the game up a little bit. Look at the size of that one. Wow. And there's no way he's not making it out in tech. Nice. Start a new wave. So we've got a plus six relic chip, but also have a plus six onyx chip, which gives us additional speed. But makes it a little bit slower for us to come out. But that's absolutely fine because. Uh, there we go. We have a gem ready to enhance one of our minions. Thank you. Uh, we're going to socket it into this one. This one's the first one out anyway. Make it a little bit tougher. He's now got 68 health because of the buff from the Onyx chip and from getting plus two from making it out successfully. Do we have anything extra in the shop? On death, sun attacker for 10 seconds. That's oh, pick me. good. Let's go with that. We will combine the zombies. Because it's early, we can get away with this. On death, stun attacker for 15 seconds. Excellent. Okay, so uh, we already know that we have to go to the top left here because that's the exit where we left last time. Let's swing on round here. Now, we could get a little bit greedy because it's early days and grab that extra coin. Let's see if uh, they can make it with their enormous amounts of health. Oh, I didn't realise quite how fast Swampy actually is. Other perfect survival. So we descend down a level because there are enough keys. So we now should be in the relic shop. We have a water ring, basic and common minions. 
plus six health. What does this do? On minion pickup, healing potion gain plus one permanently. Oh, I'm liking some of these. I'm going to lock this and lock this one in. Kobold. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we had lots and lots of them, that would probably be really, really, really good. But we don't have lots of them. We're not going to have lots of them. So I guess let's just give uh, Bully some pats on the head here to do such a fantastic job. Help is now at 70. Here's our exit as highlighted from our choices on the map. We are going to have to tangle with this knight. So let's make sure we avoid this one on the left. Grab you and then zip back out. So let's just go. I mean, I don't think they're going to really kind of kill Bully here. And Swampy is pretty quick. Sort of tempted to move Swampy to the back. That's a shame. Shield got damage, so we don't get quite as much money. But that's fine. Oh, we've got another Onyx chip. I can also combine Onyx chips. I think, I can't remember how many I need. I'm going to cross. Let me just grab this Onyx chip. Let's go and look at Bully. Bully has a gem at the moment, so we'll remove that. Two of these. So we need three. I thought it was three, but I wasn't sure. But what we can do, we can socket both of these on Bully to make him just, frankly, huge. Now, so what do we need to go to now? There's a key there. There's only one key. Wow, well, that's slightly annoying. And grab the key. So why did I actually spend the time to go and grab the stuff from up here? Well, because quite simply, as we get down to the bottom here, one of these coins is going to get dropped and left behind. And uh, is the stream going to make it? Oh, it's going to make it. Yeah, so one of the keys gets dropped and left behind. So basically, we're just kind of shuffling stuff along, which is kind of a good tactic to do. Even if you haven't got enough to pick everything up, it is beneficial to just kind of move things slightly further in the level, because that way uh, you can get to it easier on the next try, because we don't have enough keys. We've only got two out of three keys we need, so we're guaranteed now to get at least one coin. As luck would have it, everything is over here by the right-hand side for us now. So, uh, two knights here, that makes that an uncomfortable place to go through. So I think we're just gonna have to kind of bite the bullet, go this way, grab the key, grab the coin and get out. Very short map, this one. Now that was pretty easy. And these knights are quite horrible. I mean, they've only got quite a uh, low DPS at the moment, but later on they're going to have a much higher DPS. And there's more of them all together in an area, especially if they're in a row. Absolute nightmare. So, we've had a refresh in the shop because we've gone down a level. Lol could be quite good. Skeleton is basically doing the same thing. The skeleton has to die, whereas a Lol will, every three seconds, put a small shield. Let's lock the Lol. Bloom Elixir. I don't want to do anything else. Just wondering if I should modify this slightly. I'm entirely sure why I decided to go for corrupted over enchanted. Right, let's go with a treasure chest. That, although it looks incredibly wonky, is actually not a bad route to take. Let's grab this key. I might just skip going over this side altogether. Away we go. I probably should have come over this side a little bit just to cover up some of these items. But there's only three things I can really carry out. And I'd rather that were the two keys and the treasure chest. That gives us options on the next level. So we have a tooth pendant, corrupted cost two less. We're not worried about that. Don't want any of those gems. So let's grab the coins. That gives us six, which kind of makes me want to think about getting the null. Now we have the difficult decision. How far do we go? Can we come all the way over here to get this healing bar? Need to kind of make use of that uh, in, uh, relic that I got. So, grab a key, grab the healing vial, we'll just dip in there for a second to grab that key. One, two, three items. Let's grab both of these coins. And then I think we are out. And of course, not forgetting that every time that uh, Bully is completing a level, he's getting more health. Oh, they killed the null. Oh, you killed my other creatures. You animals. 
The minion has died, but it's only inconvenient for Necromancer. Of course, I just bring them back to life. Now, we did get four out of three keys, which means that we complete the level, but we don't get to keep extra keys. So, that's a slight shame, but it's also fine at the same time. There's a shroomy. We're going to lock in a shroomy. Here is our exit in the top right. Things are looking uh, pretty busy, but I think we can just grab some of this. Would like to grab this eval just for the lols. Let's, um, let's ignore that heal potion for the moment. Might come in handy on a later level, or a later wave as it is, because uh, if it was a later level, it would be a completely different map. To the back here. Okay. Yep. Shroomy did okay. So we got uh, zero coins, but we did get two keys. We do have opportunity for six coins for another Onyx chip. Now I want the Onyx chip because we're going to go in here and remove the gems from Bully. Now we're going to combine these. We get 12 plus 4, but if I use all three, I'm going to use all three on Bully just for the moment because whilst it would be nice to combine them, so I have to use less gems, and I'm now using three gems to basically get a slightly higher stat, and I think that's probably better in this instance. So I nearly made a boo-boo, but this is good. This is fine. It's all for learning. And we have knights guarding everything down the bottom here. We'll grab this coin, grab this potion, and then get out of here. I mean, they're not going to kill Bully. That's, that's pretty much guaranteed, especially if we're going to start stacking in any more keys. These two poor ones at the back here, which unfortunately died again. Ah, it's fine. I'll find more minions. So we got enough to buy a shroomy. Oh, we've got a mammon. Grab shroomy. I'm not sure what to make of the mammon at the moment. Especially since I have so little gold and we are on a, uh, a new level. Now, unfortunately, I can't combine shroomy and cap. I need to get another shroomy. That should be too hard to do. We will pop through me here in front of uh cap. Let's move the slime back a little bit, see if we can get the slime to trigger a little bit more. Uh yeah, I'm not really seeing much benefit from the Knoll's small shield right now, but I think we are possibly getting it. I'm just not really noticing it. Now, where is our exit? Our exit is uh top left here, I believe. Let's we'll check the map. Uh, we are here in the lava level, and yeah, I want to go into the next. So we are going this left corner. What is this top right one? Because that'd be an easy escape. But yeah, that's damned. I don't think I want damned. Let's grab that just for the giggles, and then straight out the exit. see which minion I lost there. I, I, I know I missed, lost one because he died and I heard the noise, but yeah, I wasn't sure which one that was. So we've got two out of the four keys. We have a chest. We can... Let's take coins. That gets us eight. There were lots and lots of coins on the map, so we are probably going to be all right. And there are two keys. Oh, look at these knights. <laughs> They're just waiting there to just slice up anything that comes past. Let's grab this, swing on back this way, and then try and grab some keys, avoiding that knight that's trying to hide behind the archer, but I see you. I see you there. This bully is going to be like the MVP of the entire, uh, entire game, I think. Okay, so the shielding is working there nicely, keeping the shroomy alive. We can descend because we actually got both keys. I was not expecting that, but uh, fair enough. That's what happens. Good job here, Bully. You are definitely the top minion for this game. 106 health. He's doing all sorts of work. All minions cost minus one. Oh, now that's good. I may be spending on a broad pendant because uh, that may be quite useful. A bit worried I'm spending a lot of money on stuff rather than minions. I really need to concentrate on the minions. Uh, we are here. 
we are in the relic section so we've got spells coming up so we also want to save money for spells the spells can really really make a difference there's our exit again highlighted in the top left corner the keys are in very awkward places and i see you there on that left hand side there you dps night monster thing that's going to try and ruin my minions The shield pretty quickly got wiped out. And so did the knoll, and so did one of my shrooms, but we got a key and we got the chest. So, a new wave. Plus 18 health, minus 2 to speed. That's pretty tempting, but I'm going with the gold. Now, let's grab the water ring. So, if I look at my creatures at the moment, we are 12, 24, 22. Let's grab this. So we are 18, 30, 28. This is, this is definitely worth the purchase. So we can now think about broad pendant because we need up to five keys. So we could still run this five times, assuming, assuming <laughs> that I could survive long enough. But we should be able to run this up to five times to get the key before we go to the next level. And we can still lock stuff in the shop anyway, so that's fine. I will, uh, still thinking about whether or not to, to lock Foxy. Foxy is good. I think I'll hold off on that at the moment. So we've got to go all the way over here to grab our stuff. There's three keys. I am very tempted to try and make it out with all three. Oh look, we've actually got a huge Vano coin stacked. That's interesting. I don't want to see that. If we do this, I suppose we can avoid that one night for the moment. The bully's just going to be so fast. The fireball couldn't even keep up with him. And, uh, yeah, you're not going to make it out, are you, Mr. Shreemy? That's fine. So that means we get another wave, which means we've got more chance to get more coins. Uh, I know I've not been using any rerolls, but I've not seen much of a point so far. So what we could do here is... What are you? An elite wizard, range 60, PS 2.5. Ow. Well... You're not on my Christmas list. I didn't quite plan that maybe as well as I should have. I should not have picked up that key at the beginning. A little bit of an oversight on my part. Two keys down. We've now got four out of five. We've lost three of our units in that round. So we can make this nice and simple. There's one knight here, there's two knights on the left, so we're just going to steam straight down this side and out the door. Away you go, boys. Easy finish. And Bully is still getting in there. Good job, Bully. 117 health now. He is becoming an absolute monster. We have a haste spell. Oh, I was hoping for a heal spell, to be honest. But... I am going to buy the haste spell because that is good. Let's use the reroll now. We can repair shields or add small shields to the minion. Neither of those are particularly special to me. But we've got to say yes, we've got the haste spell now, so we can actually combine haste spells if we have enough of them. We've got three uh, timer on this, so it's basically it's cooldown. Yep. And it's just going to apply a haste to everyone. There's our exit, top right hand corner, as is detected by the highlight. And I do not like the looks of these maps. We're going to have to play which is the least painful route. Away we go. Let's save the haste just for the moment. And go. To be fair, it didn't really look like it actually gave them much of a boost, but I think it did. We made it out, not perfectly, unfortunately, Ashrimi did die. His sacrifice will not be in vain. Uh, gems give plus two and spells minus one. That is pretty good. The, the onyx here is just pretty good. <laughs> This is, this is like, oh, how, what? This treasure chest. I've never had a treasure chest like this. I am now in decision paralysis. 
Um, I think I'll take the star ring. Because that is just going to give more bonuses. Uh, but he is now up to 126. So I'm going to hit double speed, just to get things going a bit quicker. And hopefully this time... There we go. As soon as I hit the haste, you can see they pick up a little bit extra speed. Gets them past the worst bit. Getting to the end of the level pretty easily. So we only need one key. It's probably going to be this key. And we're just going to steamroll up this side. Might as well grab potions, because we're not going to see them again. And go. Give everyone a speed boost. That bully <laughs> steamed out the door. He was the only one that made it alive, but we did get to the next floor. Bully is now up to 132. Ah, oh, bully, what would I do without you? I rely on you so much to make it through this run. We have Mars Goblin. Oh, hello, Scott. I haven't seen you for a while. Hello there. Spawns a coin on death. That's not really that big a deal. Let's grab the broad pendant then. So that makes everything a little bit cheaper. Now, our exit is in the top right, as is shown by the highlight. So, charge up here. Back this way to avoid. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna touch this key because this key is in a really good position. And if I leave this for later ways, things start to get a little bit scary, and it could be very helpful. Especially if I only just need the one, and fully can just steamroll his way through. So there's one chest. There's a second chest. Is someone gonna bring a key with them? They did. Thank you very much. Now we've got two chests, so we're going to get a lot of stuff. Now, Citrine plus 11, Twins plus 10. What's in the shop? Nothing much. I'm thinking Citrine. And in this one, I'm just going to take the Twins. This is the least number of minions I've ever had before doing a run at this point. Really, really worrying me. Let's go have a re-roll. Oh, there he is. Shroomy, good lad. So let's combine Shroomy. Uh, well, let's combine Cap. Cap becomes Mike. Mike is on death. Heal allies for 12. Uh, he's got quite a lot of health, and he's probably not really going to die in a hurry. Noll is now actually in a really bad place. We'll have to move him up because he's too far behind. Slime, probably there, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good spot. Kind of tempted to put him at the front so that he dies before Bully, but Bully is a bit quicker. Let's just stick with that for the moment. These are not in a great spot, but we can shuffle them along. Shouldn't be too big an issue, actually. Actually, no, that is a good spot for these. That is actually a very good spot. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's. Let, right. So we can come all the way down to here. We're going to take hits from this night. How do we make our way through here in the safest way possible? Probably like, yeah, just like that. Grab those coins and out. Come on, team. You've got this. I'm worried about how low Bully's health got there, because he got down to health health. Ow, that's a lot of damage. We've got nine coins now. Let's go for Diamond Chip then. And we'll give Diamond Chip to Mike. Just to absolutely be sure that Mike is going to make it out. It also gets released very, very quickly. I think we're just going to be harvesting coins. Hit the haste. Okay, three made it out. Uh, <laughs> Slime is he's just not really dying very often. Uh, five coins, four, six. We've got one key, two keys, three keys, four keys. Right, well, well I think we're going to make it out of this level. So uh, we can just tap this key and then barge on through and grab that one. As we roll the shot, a ruby chip. Ooh, minus one. 100 health. Let's lock you. <laughs> I might be coming back to you. Hit the 
race as hard as we can. We only got out with two minions, but we did get two keys with minions, so nice. Billy is doing a fantastic job again. We're now looking at relics in the shop. Flame charm. Right, let's have the uh, let's have the ruby. Let's see what horrors await us in this map. There's our exit in the bottom right corner. The knight there, he's easy enough to dodge. We're going to ignore this key again, like we did the last time. We're only going to get the one key this time, unfortunately, but should be enough. I didn't hit the haste. I've completely forgot to press the haste key. And we're definitely going with the coins. So let's grab the sentry. Right, I'm going to have to degen the null. The, the null's not worth it. The null is quite literally just... Uh, I mean, I would say he's there because he looks nice, but he doesn't even look nice. He's a null. Alright, so there's more keys. And yeah, that was a big sigh because everything's spread out everywhere. So we go this way, grab this key, come back. And go. Oh, this feels so slow, that first one coming out. Oh, that sentry comes out even slower. Yeah, that haste has not lasted a very long time. But sentry's good. Sentry's a nice... He just... He may be slow. The amount of health has him right there with Bully. So we've got two keys. So we've got four... Three... Four keys. No, three keys remaining. We've got three, six. <laughs> so there's three keys. One right up here in the very corner. Past the gauntlet of knights. Your DPS 2, your DPS 2, your DPS 4. So actually I want to come up this side. Because we've got the health potion there. Let's grab the coins on here. Look, it's, it's just so much red. Let's grab these coins. Nor you. Grab this key. And I'm actually going to force a return for a last wave. So let's go. Right, there's the one key. There goes whatever that was, a null or something. Was that a second key? Yep. The sentry died. That is quite scary. That means there's an awful lot of damage to be done out there. Oh look, they've given us a nice key that's along the route, so I don't even have to bother to go back for that one. That's very nice of them. Thank you very much. So we grab these keys, we grab this, and we just walk out the door. There's not much they can do to stop us here. Get haste early on. There's the key, we have our 66. What happens next? We don't really care. We've got two gold. Brilliant. Send to the next level. So now we are just trying to get out. Just need to live. We do need seven keys. We have another Onyx chip. Uh, I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy the Onyx chip, but I'm not going to combine them because of the bonus stats we're getting. It just doesn't seem right. This because they should be plus six, I think, and this is giving them plus two. We're just going to stack that into the Sentry, giving them a bit more speed and a bit more health. Come up here. We grab these. We should grab these. Grab this key. Make the run. Let's just grab that coin. Oh, almost. Almost fell into that trap. We'll grab the shield, because why not? Worth possibly an extra couple of uh, coins. Hit the haste. It gives them a little bit of a boost to come out. Okay, right, Sentry's good. We've lost a couple of... Uh, we lost a slump Swampy, but we still lose the Slime. And then we can re-roll, because we already have access to a Sapphire. So let's grab the Onyx Chip for the Health Buff. Let's grab the Sapphire. Sentry, I will give you the Onyx Chip for the Health Buff. And you get a little bit of speed. And Mike can have the Sapphire. Absolutely mad. Look at you, tough guy. 
DPS 8. Ouch. Grab this key. Oh, that key's in an unpleasant spot. We grab that speed buff. Which means hopefully we can grab that key without too much of an argument from this uh, this knight. And I'm still leaving that other key at the bottom there. I think we just do that. Grab the haste. We're going to super duper haste the bully. Century took a heck of a pounding there. That's good. We've got two keys and a coin. So we are now four keys remaining. We already know where one key is. So we're just waiting for those extra keys to turn up. Let's re-roll the store. Oh, look at that. 14 health from a ruby. Let's lock you in. Our luck with keys is not great. Also, not entirely terrible. So we can ignore that and just cruise this wave. So we're leaving that key there for the next wave. Hit the haste. Oh, Bully is taking a pounding. So was the sentry. They are so close to dying. Wizard did get uh, stunned there in the bottom though, I did notice, when the slime died, which is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And we could give the ruby to the sentry, because the sentry is starting to struggle a little bit. We've got a ruby chip at the moment, and two onyx chips. So we will give you a proper ruby, and... Both Onyx chips. Mike, you can have the stuff that gives you the best health. So, Ruby chip, Dream Diamond chip. Slime can have the thing that gives speed. Two keys to go. We have two keys on our route. Look at these. These elite archers are going to do so much damage. This is going to hurt. Now let's go to there. Oh no, I need to get past you. There, there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get the keys now. We don't want to mess around. And I think that should be it. I'm not going to lie, that haste spell has helped immensely. That lucky century also helps an enormous amount. And there we go, we have escaped the tower. May our rain be ruthless and drench the other lands with blood for their treachery. I did it. I actually did it.